what you see right here amid the Hong Kong pro-democracy rallies, that sea of lights is not just a sign of solidarity, it's also a mechanism of solidarity. On these thousands of mobile phones in the hands of protesters, a messaging app basically raised from obscurity called FireChat. It enables messages to pass through an ad hoc peer-to-peer -peer network, able to work where mobile signals and Wi-Fi hotspots don't exist, or worse, are blocked. An added bonus when trying to coordinate a massive, loosely connected group like Hong Kong's Occupy Central, a free-for-all chat mode which can broadcast a local message across crowds like this very quickly. The CEO behind the app, Misha Benolio, found himself in Hong Kong nearly by chance just as the protests kicked off. I happened to be in Hong Kong in transit because I, I had meetings in Shenzhen with uh, potential uh, business partners. And Saturday I was in Hong Kong and I was complaining about, uh, uh, I mean, we don't have any users in this city, why? And Sunday suddenly a boom, an explosion, more than 100,000 uh, new accounts were created on the chat, uh, more than 100,000 on Monday. I mean, so it's a complete explosion it's, and it's huge for such a city like, uh, like Hong Kong. And how many people are using this app at any given time in a place like Hong Kong? So we saw peaks on Sunday at uh, about 35,000 uh, uh, users, 33,000 users exactly, uh, who were uh, connected at the same time on their phone, uh, posting messages or looking at uh, the news uh, through the app. All right. Now, unlike mainland China, in Hong Kong, censorship isn't an issue. But we did hear some reports of connectivity problems in the heart of the protest. So what can you tell us about that? So what, what happens is you have so many people that are gathered in the same uh, place that all the mobile networks get congested. So in that case, with FireChat, uh, they can st still keep on messaging uh, because the, the phones interconnect directly uh, to one another using uh, uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, and messages can keep on flowing from uh, one phone to another. It creates a, a daisy chain of smartphones. Right. Now, I saw that last night. I was out in the protests around midnight using the app. Uh, it was interesting. It was chaotic. You know, there's nothing blocked on it, but there's nothing private as well. What do you want to, how do you want to innovate in terms of uh, the service? So the... FireChat is a, is a public, uh, is made of big public chat rooms and uh, the intent was for people to be able to meet uh, random people and to exchange information about uh, when they have the same interest and share the same, same interest. Originally we made it for uh, festivals, concerts, uh, big conferences when normally you don't have any uh, internet connectivity and it happens it's used uh, in this time in this specific uh, circumstance and it's not a surprise uh, for example it happened in the uh, end of march april uh, in taiwan during the student protest the sunflower movement too so could this be used in mainland china could fire chat take on the uh, great firewall so we uh, happen to see a lot of users in china who are uh, creating account on fire chat so for what's happening on the peer-to-peer -peer mesh network so at the level of uh, the connections between the smartphones there is no way actually to to block any uh, any usage there and, uh, but we are more interested in China to push our technology and the technology which is behind FireChat, the open garden uh, technology that we developed for, for three years. All right, and let's talk about that. How are you going to monetize this technology? So it's pretty easy. Um, so FireChat, we want to keep it free for users. Uh, we don't want users to pay for anything. It's a complete free app and it will re remain free. Um, with the open garden technology, what we do is we create additional user time. That means when your phone is not connected to a cellular network or it's not connected to uh, a Wi-Fi hotspot, now it has the opportunity to be connected from, uh, to a device or someone nearby. And during that time, any monetization event that happens, so for example, an ad that is displayed or a purchase uh, through an, an app, an in-app purchase that happens, we take a cut out of that. Misha, let's talk about funding. I, uh, you know, I heard some whispers that your last round was over 10 million. Uh, what are your plans for uh, raising cash? So we are currently in the process of raising uh, a huge round and we are in the middle of it. Uh, we believe we have a fantastic opportunity with this technology, which is really paving the way of the new mobile internet. And uh, the proof is uh, what's happening uh, these days in Hong Kong. It's really, uh, I think the mobile internet is going towards a complete decentralized infrastructure. And with this uh, messaging app FireChat, we are demonstrating it uh, for, for messages, but it can go much uh, further than that for many other applications.